Hello Saints, thank you once again for tuning in. Today's message is titled, What We See. And the reason that I'm releasing this message is because there are many things taking place today which many prophets of old would have loved to have seen. Jesus even said during his time, this is what he said during his time, Matthew 13, 17. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. And to take this in context, Jesus is talking about when he came to the nation of Israel and him being rejected. He was saying such wonderful and gracious things. Those things that came from his mouth were so spectacular and so magnificent that there were prophets of old who had believed the promise of God that these things would happen and they looked for those things but they had not seen them. But we today are blessed, we are blessed more than they are because we have the full canon of scripture and yet we get to see many things unfolding before our eyes. We see rumors of wars, we see pestilences, we see earthquakes in diverse places and not just little earthquakes but big ones and every day we see an upheaval in the world economic system. We also see that at the same time, people are feasting, drinking, getting married, while we also are ravaged with famines and disease at the same time. Jesus said that it would be like the days of Noah when he would return, and this is exactly what we're experiencing. We have also experienced in our time a great and exponential moral decline. This has happened over time, but it is even more so during our time. Those holy men and prophets would have loved to see these days. And they would, after seeing these things, believe as they already had believed what God had said in his word. There are Christians who walk around today. They are liars, hypocrites, fakes, and frauds. They think that Christianity is going to church on Sunday, sitting in a pew for an hour, taking up space and breathing air that other people could be breathing, and then after that hour, they leave, and the rest of the week, they do not acknowledge God by spending time in meditation of his word. They do not acknowledge Jesus by reading the scriptures, and they also spend no time in prayer for others and for themselves for those things that God would encourage them to pray for. Because the scripture tells us that we should pray without ceasing and there are many who do not pray at all. And so those things that those prophets would have loved to see, we see now happening in our time. But in Jesus time, when Jesus came, there was prophets that waited and wanted to see the coming of Jesus. It even speaks about the man Simeon that was in the temple who when he saw Jesus when he was a baby, God had allowed him to see the Christ child when he was a baby. And he acknowledged that this was the salvation for Israel and for the Gentiles. And he was blessed in seeing those things because he had believed what God had said in the past. There are many who behave the way that they do because they do not believe the scripture. They do not believe that the world is coming to an end. They are more into the world, into entertainment, into following movie stars, into following athletes and sports figures, and they are not following after Jesus Christ by the example that was set for us by Paul the Apostle. We are truly blessed to see these things happening in the world. And although many of the things that are going on now and during our time are terrible and horrific, we are still blessed because we can know for sure that God has made a promise to us that he is keeping because we see scripture unfolding before our eyes. The time has caught up with scripture. And as we see these things, we truly are blessed because we know the truth. I do pray that the Lord will add a blessing with this message.